Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Peter Johnson at WheatPeat, RealAgriculture.com, and we are going to talk about streamer nozzles we get tons of questions every spring what is the best streamer nozzle so what we're going to look at the full range we have three hole streamers we have five hole streamers five hole and six hole streamers we don't have six hole to show you today but five hole and six hole very very similar then we have seven hole streamers they're a little different instead of spraying straight down they spray out back and then of course we have the chafer bars also known as the needham streamer bars so let's have a look at the pluses and the minuses we start off with this three hole streamer. The three hole streamer, when the boom is 20 inches off the ground, it's perfect. If you have seven and a half inch row wheat, the way we do in Ontario, and you're looking at 20 inch centers on your boom, gosh, if you're 20 inches off the ground, those three streams, th three rolls of wheat, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Unfortunately, the boom rarely stays 20 inches off the ground. So what happens when we get into a field that does this like most fields all do? And yeah, the radar works, but the radar doesn't react quickly enough. And all of a sudden, this end of the boom, it's down in the ground. This end of the boom, it's way up in the air. What happens to the pattern? The pattern goes all to heck. As we go down close to the ground, you can see that we're just not getting that pattern at all. As we go up 30 inches, we're double overlap. We're just, it's not working. So in a perfect world, three stream nozzles, probably by far the best one. Unfortunately, the world's not perfect. Most of the time they don't work. So what about the five streamer? So a little bit different concept. So now the five streamer, we want overlap. It's differential flow, six streamer is the same. Center nozzles are putting out more, center holes are putting out more, I should say. The holes to each side get progressively less so that we have some overlap. That means that as the boom does this, I have a little bit better opportunity to get still a uniform pattern. We don't get quite as much as we're doing this through the field. However, notice as we get right down, if we really get into that, that tremendous right on the ground or right off the ground, then all of a sudden our pattern's still not perfect. So the five streamers, the six streamers, I like them better than the three streamers for sure. They do a better job. But remember, the other thing, the more streams we have, the more burn we get because it's just more droplets. Burn, 28% on wheat, 32% on wheat. You add the ammonium thiosol, we need sulfur now, it burns even worse. So, three, uh, five streams, six streams, better than the threes for sure. Still not perfect, but pretty decent. Now let's look at the seven streams. Seven streams are different because now I'm building the pattern by shooting out back instead of shooting straight down. So when we think about the boom wobble at 20 inches, it's fine. We think about this boom wobble, we put it right to the ground. We're still pretty much getting the whole ground coverage. We go high, yeah, we're starting to get a little bit of spread, but the pattern is more made backwards as opposed to straight down. So they definitely do a better job. However, Having said that, now I'm seven streams. How much burn do I get? So that becomes a bit of an issue from a burn standpoint. We have done trials, absolutely. We see more burn with seven streamers than we do with three streamers or four, five streamers. It's just the way it works. You add more pressure and you get more, more burn as well. That's, that's just the way, the dynamics of spraying. Now, let's look at the Needham streamer bars, the ultimate in uniformity, because it doesn't matter what the boom height is, they're shooting straight down. They also need less pressure because the pressure isn't really making the, the pattern anymore. Be, they're just shooting it straight down. I go down with the boom, I go up with the boom, it doesn't matter. I'm still getting that perfect pattern. However, it's not all roses in, in chafer land, if you will, or in, with these streamer bars, because a couple of things. First off, look at how big they are. Great big bars, and if they do catch in the fence row, now remember, people say, what about if I catch them in the dirt? But these don't matter how high you're running them, so you can run them a little bit. You don't have to try to target 20 inches anymore. We can be at 30 inches or something like that, so they're much less likely to hit the dirt. I don't think that's too bad, but I catch them in the fence row, way more to catch. 
way easier to break. It's just the bigger, it's just the way that that's going to work. You break them, they are more expensive. However, having said they're more expensive, they're about $30 Canadian, maybe a little less, but in that game, and you say, well, that's, that's way more than a, a streamer nozzle, a seven or a, or a three. Think about this for a minute, because with these bars, we, we can change the rate. We have different orifices right in the bar, so I can, now can go basically from 10 or 15 gallons all the way up to 50 or 60 gallons with that same tip. Whereas if I'm using those other streamer tips, I have to have two of them. Even with the change in pressure, change in speed, it's almost impossible to have one set of streamer tips that will do the full rate range that I might want to do. So you might have to buy two sets of the other streamers where you could get away with one of these, so that factor that into the cost. The other issue, of course, with these streamer bars, they're big. Think about folding the boom. Now they're not just a standard nozzle, right? We're not just looking at a standard nozzle where it's out of the way. Now I got these big things, and so as I come into the cradle, on some sprayers, you actually have to take one off. And a lot of custom guys just say, I'm not doing that. I'm just not doing that. Last thing about these is in the field, they can get turned like that. And a lot of guys, they, they, they don't turn easily, but you catch something, they can. So what do we do with that? Well, it's pretty simple. We just take that elastic band, we put her from one tip to the other, and that will really help from that perspective. So what's the best? What's the best is whatever you want to use. I really like these, most farmers that have the chafer bars, once they go to them, never go back. However, folding, breakage, cost, definitely an issue. Burn, very little burn. These, these work really well for burn. Past that, if you can keep her at 20 inches, nothing wrong with a three streamer, but you saw what happened when we don't keep it at 20 inches. Real wheat farmers do the best job they can for perfectly uniform application across that field because without that, we can't grow great wheat. Figure out what works for you, grow great wheat.